Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Mining Data Analytics Series with Blockware Intelligence. This episode, I'm going to be talking about hash price. Before we get started, uh, if you haven't already subscribed to the Blockware Intelligence YouTube channel, please go ahead and do that um, to find more videos like this and more videos that Will is doing as well. Also, please go ahead and like this video if you want to you know, encourage more people to learn about mining data analytics. But after that, let's go ahead and dive into hash price. So real quick, this is a quick chart showing what hash price has looked like over the last year. We can see it's kind of ranged between 42 cents and about 18, 16 cents. But what is this metric? Like, what does that even mean? How can we use this as Bitcoiners or how can we use this as miners? So hash price is basically how much dollars how many dollars a single Terra hash will make you per day? So for example, the current hash price is sitting at around 18 cents, as we saw on the last chart. And by the way, this is January 31st, 2022. Um, and obviously this is going to change over time. But a quick example to see how much revenue an AmpMiner S19 Pro uh, is going to generate per day and you can do this for any machine. Basically, what you would do is you would find the specs of that machine. For example, an S19 Pro is going to be running at a roughly 100 terahash per second right now. The daily revenue um, that this machine would generate would be $18. And you, you find this by simply multiplying the current hash price by the number of terahashes per second the machine can produce. So the hash rate the hash price metric shows some interesting things. One, when the hash price is increasing, that will occur when the price of Bitcoin is growing faster than the ha network hash rate. On the opposite hand, hash price decreases when hash rate is growing faster than the price of Bitcoin. So let's dive into some examples of this over time. I broke this out into four different sections. The green line on this graph is hash price over time on a dollars per tera, tera hash basis. The black line is just the price of Bitcoin that you guys have seen. The first metric here on the top left was the 2017 hash price bull market. This was when you know the price of Bitcoin was going from $1,000 a coin all the way up to $20,000 you know, about a year time, very short period of time for a 20x gain. During that time, the network hash rate was not increasing that fast. So hash rate was definitely increasing back then. It just wasn't increasing faster than the price itself. Moving on to the 2018 hash price bear market. This is when the price of Bitcoin peaked at around 20,000. It fell all the way to 3,000 back in, I think, you know, early 2019, pretty much through a lot of a lot of 2019. But during this time, um, for the most part, hash rate was actually still increasing. So hash rate was increasing from the end of 2017 to the beginning of 2019. And during during that time, um, the price was falling. I mean, the price fell from 20,000 to to 3,000. And so that that led to a massive hash price bear market. Miners were simply generating less revenue. On a on a terra hash um, that they were that they were mining. Now we have the May 2020 halving. So this is when hash price was basically cut in half, and this occurs because every four years Bitcoin has something called the halving, where the block subsidy gets cut in half, and this is just something that's algorithmically programmed into the supply. But when this happens, miners get half as much from the block subsidy in Bitcoin terms as they were the block before or the day before. And so this basically caused us to see hash price get cut in half in May, 2020. Now we also have the 2020, 2021 hash price bull market. This was pretty much right after Sailor kind of got introduced to mining. And we saw the price of Bitcoin rally from 9,000 all the way into, into the 60,000s. And it did it in a relatively short amount of time. Um, because of this, 
hash rate was not growing at the exact same rate as, as price because price was just growing extremely fast. We could, we did, we didn't, we saw it. We basically saw a, a massive hash price bull market um, where, where price of Bitcoin was growing faster than the network hash rate, hash rate growth. So one thing that's important to note is that hash price over time is going to turn to zero. And this is basically due to ASICs, which are the machines used to mine Bitcoin, increasing uh, in efficiency. They're, they're becoming more efficient over time. And also more and more ASICs are finding the cheapest electricity cost on earth. So these, these ASICs that are maybe older are just getting sourced to help prevent flaring on natural, natural gas um, or, or just all sorts of excess wasted electricity. Um, ASICs are, are, are scavenging for, for that. And that's leading to more hash rate coming on the network but they can operate, you know, at at, at very low Bitcoin cost, um, price of Bitcoin, um, because they have very low operating cost. And so over time, this this metric is going to trend to zero, but it's not going to trend to zero as fast as it once was. As you can see, like back from 2011, 2010, hash price was super high. I mean, you didn't have to have much hash rate relative to today to be earning a significant amount of dollars. Um, but this is because over time, ASICs have gotten drastically, drastically more efficient. These new generation, new generation ASICs that we see today are magnitudes more efficient to what we saw back in 2011, 2012, 2013. And so after 2013, 2014, 2015, more and more of these new genera generation ASICs started coming online. And and, and because of this, hash price was declining rapidly. So one thing that's interesting to note, though, is, is now that, that these new generation machines are not that much more efficient than what, what we saw you know, a year ago or two, year ago, two years ago, like in 2021 or 2020, that means hash rate on a relative basis to the total network hash rate won't be growing as fast as it once was back in like 2013. So 2013, for example, we saw hash rate growing at, you know, a thousand plus percent per year. Now we're even in a major hash rate bull market. We, we may, we may not even see it grow a hundred percent. And it's just because these new generation machines coming out are not going to be much more efficient than the ones that currently exist today. And so we can kind of expect this metric to still trend towards zero over time, but it won't trend nearly as fast as it, as it once did. And I, I actually wrote a research report about this. You can, you can go see it on, on blockwaresolutions.com. I'll put a link to it in the comments. And basically I was talking about why the 2020s will be a golden age for Bitcoin mining. And it's very related to this topic. And it's because hash price won't be falling as fast as it once was. And what this means is that the miners that you, you buy today or the miners that you bought yesterday or the miners that you buy tomorrow may actually have a decent chance of lasting um, significantly longer than miners purchased back in 2014, 2015. And so these new machines can be mining Bitcoin for you know an extended period amount of time compared to what it was in the past. But yes, yeah, so, so that's basically the summary of, of hash price. I hope this was helpful for you guys to to get more into mining, get a get a basics of 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 what you know one of the core metrics is for mining Bitcoin, and it's what many miners use to determine how much money they're going to make on on a daily basis and how much incremental hash rate uh, they can bring online and how much you know how many dollars that's going to generate them. But um, Please, if you have any more ideas of, of what you want to see in this series in the comments, please let me know. I'm happy to, to dive into more Bitcoin mining data analytics. Talk to you guys later.